Hello, this is Harlan. Bible worshipers hates this message worse than any because they tell me hillbilly tramps ain't even in the Bible. That's how Satan gets his work done. He beguiled Eve. He put her in a trance, hypnotic state. Hypnotize means, it's a Greek word, means sleep. He took power over her. See, you've got to be turned from the power of Satan to the power of God. Oh, Hubbard, the one that found Scientology, he understood that Satan had hypnotized people, so he hypnotizes them. That's, what, that's how you get it in Scientology. God caused a deep sleep to come upon Adam, or he hypnotized Adam and took a rib out of him. You could get on an operating table. I've seen people do it and be hypnotized, and a doctor can cut on them under hypnosis. Now, that's how powerful it is. So it's a power. It's like John was in the spirit. He was hypnotized. His, eye, his body was on the Isle of Patmos where nobody wouldn't bother him. He was out of the body. God caused a deep sleep to fall on Abraham. Abraham was the father of faith. God put things in him. He was uh, his seed. He was going to bring forth uh, Isaac. The seed was in Isaac. They was going to bring forth the Christ. And that's the way God done it. He took power over Abraham. Abraham loved God so much he took his own son out to sacrifice him. When you see people in a movie theater in a parking lot just pull out a gun, start shooting and kill four or five people or go to a school and shoot people, they're under hypnosis. They don't like to tell it, but I had a prison ministry. And the boys would tell me what happened to them. Now, here's old Balaam. He would, he would uh, have his eyes wide open and fall into a trance. He'd sacrifice about 12 oxen. He'd come out to curse Israel. This king wanted to curse his coming into the promised land. And he's the one the donkey talked to. He could fall into a trance and talk to God with his eyes wide open. That's the way they talked to him, them old prophets back in the old days. He was a, a prophet that was being moved by reward. So that's what uh, Baal means when they mention it, that they have the doctrine of Baal. That was for money. And here's Judas. The only way Satan got to him, he got in him. He hypnotized him. He got in him. And it was Satan that done the work. And when Satan got through with Judas, he hung him because Judas didn't like Satan trancing him out and taking power over him and using his body to uh, have Jesus destroyed because he, he didn't like that. And so he took the money back and Satan hung him. Now, Peter fell into a trance before he went to Cornelius' house. Read it in the 10th chapter of the book of Acts. People say, that ain't in the Bible. They don't even know. Preachers won't tell them that it's in the Bible, but it's in the Bible. So these people that fall into trance and does crazy things. There's a woman used to, uh, wouldn't clean up her house. She'd go to bed in the house, all the dirty dishes. But she said, I wake up and my house is clean and all my dishes is washed. You know what was happening? She'd get up in her sleep and she'd wash her dishes. She walked in her sleep. And that's what people do. It's, it's something some people wake up a mile from the house because they walk in their sleep. See, because it's a sleep. Hypnosis means sleep. Trance is transformed over out of the flesh. Paul fell into a trance and said, Jesus spoke to him. Get out of here. They won't receive you here. So this is something that is, you'll either be under the power of Satan or under the power of Jesus. If Jesus hypnotizes you, he'll put his words in you. If Satan hypnotizes you, he'll put his words in you. Satan had to take a Bible because he couldn't use the Holy Ghost. See, God poured the Holy Ghost out on all of us. Satan couldn't do that, so he had to get you under a Bible. When you go to church and they say, open your Bibles, you fall into hypnosis. They hypnotize you in churches. This is the way politicians get you to vote for them. They hypnotize you. People don't understand this power. Now, I want you to understand this. Understand what a post-hypnotic suggestion is. You've got to understand post-hypnotic suggestions. If you don't, you won't understand why you do things. You don't understand why you give the church 10% of your money. You're under hypnosis. Now watch Benny Hinn here. He paid one of his bodyguards $100,000 to not talk. Now why did he do that? Because he's like Queen James. You see, he's Queen James. So he learned how to do this from Catherine Kuhlman. He gives them post-hypnotic suggestions. When you go in his meetings, when you touch him, when he touches you, you'll fall out. They're hypnotized in his meeting. He can wave his arms and everybody fall out. Because it's what you call a post-hypnotic. It's like when the unidentified flying objects come down and pick people up. They hypnotize them. They hypnotize them. And then they put a, a, a notice in them. They said, you will not remember none of this. 
And you have to hypnotize them to find out that they've been on an unidentified flying object. So them people has power. We live in a flesh body. You spend a third of your life sleeping. And in, them, in the sleep, you can have dreams. Why do you have dreams? Because you're out of the flesh. God don't speak to your flesh. He don't speak to your natural mind. The natural man receives not the things of God. It's only in your heart. He speaks to your heart. That's why you have dreams, visions, and revelations. Now, the voodoo people do the same thing. They all shout around that one person gets a spirit entered in them. See, Satan can enter in one spirit, one person. He can't. He ain't like the Holy Ghost get in everybody. That's why God uh, gives us the Holy Ghost and Satan gives you a Bible. He can give everybody a Bible. They'll get in this one person like Pentecostal people. They'll shout around the spirit to move on somebody and they'll get a word from that spirit. That's voodoo. That's the same thing they do in, in Bible churches, same thing they do in voodoo meetings. Marie LeBeau out of Louisiana started that stuff, and they do it. Hypnotize means to put to sleep. That's a Greek word means sleep. Trance means over and beyond. You get out of the flesh in the spirit. Mesmerize is the same thing as hypnotize. And they don't like it. Bible worshipers don't like it because the pastors like to keep you in the flesh. They don't want you to be hypnotized into God. That's where you will find your power. You must be turned from the power of Satan to the power of God. And you've got to be hypnotized and you've got to have it put in you. God has put me in trance many times and spoke to me. He don't speak to your natural man. He speaks to your heart and to your soul. And you can watch it. You can put a little babies, little babies that go in a trance instantly. You can almost put them to sleep because it's part of our nature. The flesh will go to sleep and then your spirit. You can be almost the Scientology people. They hypnotize their people. They become great actors like John Travolta or Tom Cruise, they're, they're great actors because they become that person that they're acting like. See, they, they uh, hypnotize them. And this is what makes them so powerful. Hypnosis. They can put you in hypnosis and cause you to quit smoking or whatever if, if you got a good hypnotist that knows how to do it. And they'll put it in you that you hate cigarettes and you can't stand them no more. And they'll get it away from you. So the Bible's an idol. The Bible is the mark of the beast. A sword had pierced the heart of a mother crying. Her son was dying, she did not understand. She loved him so, she had held him in her hand. As her tears ran down, there was darkness upon the land. Eloi, Eloi, he cried for his father. All hope was gone as they laid him in the tomb. The father came to earth that day. The stone was rolled away. This world will never be the same. Elohim is his name.